What's going on guys? Dave here working on a Suzuki GSX-R750, but this is going to apply to any motorcycle or any vehicle for that matter. Uh, the issue is the horn was not working. Very strange because it was working and then it decided to quit. All right, so we need to troubleshoot exactly what is the problem. All right, you'll just need a couple of things. Need to get you a uh, multimeter like this. I'll put a link down below, but you can get this at any hardware store or electronic store or auto supply store. You know, it's a basic multimeter that has two leads coming off of it, as you see. And you will also need just some basic wire with alligator clips, you know, two of those so that we can test the battery straight from, uh, you know, from your 12 volt battery. So let's take a closer look at all this. Okay, so we need to determine what's at fault here. You know, is there a fuse blown? So you need to check any fuses relating to the problem. Uh, we need to see if the horn actually works, if we feed direct power to it. So you could just put your, you know, your little wires connected to the battery. We also need to determine if the connector for the horn would be this guy here for this particular model. Make sure the connector is good and getting power when you actually press the horn button on the handlebar, wherever yours is located. And this could be for a car or anything. All right, so first we will, we connected our leads from our multimeter we set the multimeter to 12 volt because that's what we're dealing with. It's a 12 volt system. Okay, and then you'll plug your leads, you know, into each wire for the horn. Okay, then we will turn the vehicle on and see what the multimeter tells us. Pushing the button. It tells us the connectors are getting power when you hit the button. All right, so that eliminates a fuse issue. It should eliminate the, you know, the connector being an issue, but that doesn't totally eliminate it. It eliminates uh, you know wiring issues, that sort of thing. Okay, so moving on, let's test the horn itself. Okay. Let's test the horn. All right, so it won't matter which which terminal you use. It, it should make a sound either way if the horn indeed works. Okay, so we're just putting our negative on one prong right here. And we'll take our positive coming from our, you know, coming from our battery positive. Touch it to the other one. And if the horn works, you should hear something. Here we go. Okay. The horn obviously works. All right, now disconnect all your stuff so you don't possibly ground anything. All right, let's take a look at other things now. Okay, that means there's a possibility of the terminals here being a little, maybe they're a little crusty. These guys in here, they might be a little crusty, so you could take you some, you know, some sandpaper or some emery cloth or even a hand file or something and clean these terminals off here. You could also use some contact cleaner or maybe some dielectric spray or something. Just let's clean off these terminals and see if that makes any difference. Also, okay, and you should also do the same thing with the connectors it's themselves because it's possible maybe they've got a little uh, corrosion on them so with the connectors down in here you may want to take uh you know, see what you, know, you may can spray some you know some dielectric cleaner or some contact cleaner you might need to try and clean them off a little bit with a maybe a thin little brush um, maybe a, a little metal bristle brush, you know, something that's got some texture to it. See if you can clean off the connectors inside there. And then 
we try it out again. Plug her in here. Make sure that make sure that it's in there properly, of course. Turn your key on. And there she goes. And again, it doesn't matter. You know, you can flip it around and install it the other way as well. You know, horns, it really doesn't matter which one. It works either way. So don't get too picky on how you connect it. Anyway, and uh, I mean, yeah, at the, like I said, if, if you're getting power, showing power through your multimeter, that also eliminates the switch as a problem. But if you're not getting any power through the multimeter, you need to investigate is your switch assembly needing repair or replacement? Uh, is the wires themselves having a problem? You know, is, is, do you have a fray somewhere? Uh, you know, that's, that's also eliminating the fuse being a problem. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know, horns are simple, but motorcycles, they sometimes flake out with the horn. And a lot of people don't, don't care about having a horn, but some people do. Uh, I actually like having a horn because stupid motorists ignore you sometimes out there. And, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing else you can, you can't yell at them and they won't hear you anyway. So I use the horn quite a bit to keep motorists, you know, alert to my presence if I'm on a motorcycle. Or, you know, sometimes they'll weave around and try to cut you off from whatever and you can just lay on it. Maybe it doesn't do any good, but I like having a horn working on a motorcycle. Anyway, that's it. Check out our other videos. we got all kinds of cool stuff. Um, we're doing some videos relating to this, uh, Suzuki GSXR 750. Uh, we do videos on dirt bikes, Yamaha YZ450F, Yamaha YZ250FX, YZ250 two-stroke, even an older YZ250F, all kinds of videos relating to um, motor vehicles, as well as stuff around the house and uh, lawn equipment and whatever. You know, if you just search through our channel, you'll find all kinds of cool stuff on, on fixing things and doing basic repairs and, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, horn resolved. So uh, Google Horsepower House, we are on eBay, Amazon, Facebook. And uh, so check us out. We have a, a pretty cool store relating to motorcycle parts and tools on eBay and Amazon. That's it. Hope this helped you guys out. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all later.